Welcome to the 5 minute faster math class of CLAD to teach. Before you and I start this class, let me give you a very clear warning. There's a very high risk that after watching these videos, you'll be throwing away your calculator outside your window. Why? You may ask. Because you would not be needing it anymore. So let's start this class right away. Can you mentally calculate what is 21,432 times 11? In 6 seconds that is. Your time starts now. So give it a try. Your time is up. The answer is this. Well, if that is what you calculated, then you deserve a big pat on your back. Indeed, your calculation speed is very good. In case you got a different answer, or you could not calculate at all, don't get disheartened. I assure you, after 4 minutes from now, you'll be able to multiply any, any number, no matter how many digits it has, with 11 in a matter of few seconds. And that too mentally. Sounds too good to be true? Watch out. So let's first see the usual way of multiplying 21,432 with 11. So this is the same column method of multiplication you must be aware of. Okay. So 1 2 times is 2. 1 3 times is 3. 1 4 times is 4, 1 1 times is 1 and 1 2 times is 2 all right now do the same thing with the other one so 1 2 times is 2 1 3 times is 3 1 4 times is 4 1 1 times is 1 and 1 2 times is 2 now add all these numbers in the column fashion okay so this is 2 3 plus 2 is 5 4 plus 3 is right 7 1 plus 4 is 5 2 plus 1 is 3 and this is 2 now this is your answer 23 57 52 the only thing is that that it has too many steps which makes it very time consuming and moreover you can't do mentally with this method okay so let's see the smarter way of doing it then you will realize why I was calling this the harder way of doing it. The smarter way of multiplying any number with 11 is this. Watch me. This is my answer. <laughs> was it too fast for you to follow? Okay, so let me give you a very slow motion action replay of what I have just done. The trick is, just copy the first digit as it is. The next digit would be the sum of this digit and the next digit. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. Alright, next digit would be sum of this digit, that is 1, and the next digit. 1 plus 4 is 5. And the next digit would be the sum of this 4 and 3, that is 7. And the next one would be 3 and 2. That is 5 and copy last digit as it is. See? Isn't that simple? <laughs> I can see the smile on your face. You must be thinking, why on earth was I doing it the harder way all my life? Isn't it? So, let's find out what is 4216 times 11. And you do it this time. So, copy the first digit as it is. Next digit would be 4 plus 2 is 6. Next one would be 2 plus 1 is 3. Next one would be 1 plus 6 is 7. And copy this 6 as it is. This is your answer. Now tell me, wasn't that fast? So the most remarkable thing about this method is that, that we are getting the answer from left to right. That is, the most significant digit first. Now the advantage of that is that, that immediately you can start saying the answer. If I give you this question, immediately you can start saying the answer would be 4, 6, 3, 7, 6. Isn't it? The other person would be amazed. He'll be thinking, my God, you're a genius. Come on. <laughs> right. 
let's do it one more time i know you are enjoying this so what would be 3563 times 11 copy the first digit as it is next digit would be 3 plus 5 that is 8 now 5 plus 6 is 11 but 11 is a two digit number then what do we do simple just carry forward one here right one here all right now 6 plus 3 is 9 and copy this 3 as it is so the answer would be 38 plus 1 is 39193 this is your answer see it works so well and you'll be surprised to know that it's not like that, that it only works with 11 okay so let's see what would be 1332 times 12 B alright so like we always do copy this one as it is here now since there is 2 here so what we do before we add this one to the next number we have to double it up okay so 1 2 times is 2 and 2 plus 3 is 5 okay now double of 3 is 6 and 6 plus 3 is 9 now double of this 3 is again 6 and 6 plus 2 is 8 and double of this 2 is 4 so this is your answer So I end this class here. Hope you found it useful. In the next video of EasyCal series, we would be applying this trick to other two date numbers as well. And certainly we would be learning many more such faster math tricks. Thanks for watching.